Um, and so there is, um, if you are interested, there is the full version of Clatter on uh, uh, www.peterbachelor.com um, and you will see it there along with a video that explains how to work it. But basically the model is, is very much the same thing. If I just find that, actually I can open it from here, unless I've already got it open. No, I haven't. Uh, 2.2. So um, you have a series of different players that you can have. But in this case, uh, aside from the fact that um, the, uh, the, the this sort of uh, the buffers are made on the fly, so I can have as many of them as I want. Uh, in this case, well, I could drag. Uh, how many glitches are in there? Oops. There are twelve hundred and fifty-five in there. Um, and I can drag in the entire folder, so it will recognise how many there are to load and then load them all. There we go. Um, they aren't particularly interesting sounds, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. And then uh, there is a scrub screen, which each one of these tiles represents a different sound. So you can hear. Actually, they're quite nice. So as a kind of gesture in the face, it works quite nice for that. Um, and you can have it in random mode so that, each, so that these are chosen at random. And so on. And there's also a step sequencer. Anyway, uh, there's blurb about it on, on the site. So, um, But there's also a transposition function and a glide envelope and an amplitude envelope that you can put onto the sound. So. Um, but as I say, ultimately the engine is much the same as what I've just shown you.